Tell me that's so beautiful. I'm in love with the marshes, man. Definitely a different vibe than bank fishing. Indeed. Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Ned Ward. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back from the vlog, y'all. All right, man, I got a special vlog for y'all today. Why is it special right now? Check it. Yo, boys, I'm on a kayak. That's right, boy, I'm on a kayak for the first time in my life. Y'all, I am 40 years old. I've never been on a kayak before, so MDLR Fishing invited me out to come out on a kayak and, you know, check out the experience. So, um, yeah, man, I'm loving it, man. This is, this is nice, y'all, this is nice. So what's the goal today, man? The goal today is get back to the truck and not die. Don't sink the kayak, right? Don't sink the kayak and make it back to the truck. I told Mark, Mark, you have one objective today. Make sure I make it back to the truck. You know what Mark said, y'all? Oh, I'm gonna for sure get your body back. See, see, that's when you deal with Marines, no man left behind. So yeah, man, um, I'm just enjoying the experience of trying to kayak for the fish, or try to kayak, try to kayak fish for the first time. You know what I mean, okay? And yeah, we'll see what happens. So um, let's see if we can get a fish. I'm good. Good. All right. Is that oyster? No, it's probably a fish. Is a fish? Am I on? Nah, I know I didn't catch none, y'all. Yo, I got a fit. Oh my God. Oh. But mainly, let's try not to sink this boat. Bingo! Wake up, honey. I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels, too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. All right, y'all, update. So we've been fishing for about, I think, 30 minutes, an hour. Um, Mark just caught a speckled trout and first impressions of kayak fishing. Love it, love it. I see why everybody talks about kayak fishing so much. I'm just out here by myself. This is me and Mark, an entire marsh. There's no people that you have to worry about getting tangled up in your line. There's no loud people, drunk people. Just like nature, man. This is beautiful, bro. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Fish and chips is gonna have to get a kayak. I'm telling you, man, I'm in love with this, man. This is so dope. Come on, man. Let's get back to fishing. Let's go. Wait, am I on? Oh, I'm on. There we go. There we go. That did not happen, my. Oh, no. 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 Dang it. Speckle trout. Huh? Yeah, switched over to the swimmer swimmer. I lost my bugs on an oyster shell. It had a good run. Yeah. You say fish and chips? Yeah, fish and chips. What's your name, man? What's your name? Chris. Chris, nice to meet you. Yeah, I watch both of y'all channels. Yeah. So this is the one I started with. Kind of hothead bugs lure, I think. So I'm gonna switch back to this one. Yeah, we gonna switch back to this one. One second. Marsh system. It's just, you know, where are they? Where's Mm -hmm. The hot spots and stuff like that. Where we're fishing right now, probably three, four feet deep. Uh -huh. And is the bite on these like, do they just like you'll hit it hard or? Yeah, you'll feel it. It's going to be a thump. You'll okay. There's a thump. And then lots of uh, mullet and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. You'll spook there with something that yeah, I saw chased it. right up there. Yeah. Uh, they'll brush up against your line and thrust that tail, mm -hmm. and it feels like a thump. Go and start fishing marks so I can watch you too. I think I'm good. I'm good. Good? Right. Yeah. Is 
Is that an oyster? No, it's probably a fish. Is that a fish? Am I on? Nah, I know I didn't catch none, y'all. Yo, I got a fish. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, y'all. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go, baby. What? Mark got me on a fish on an artificial. Oh my god. What? Bro. It worked. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, y'all. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> I can't believe it worked, y'all. This is my first fish on a kayak. Yeah. I don't know if it's a keeper. That's kind of close. But yeah, let's put it back in. 14, About 14. 15, All right, man. The goat got me on some fish, y'all. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dump. There's a dump. Oh, we on. This is a really big croaker. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> All right, y'all. Something I noticed is that the croakers in the marsh are bigger than the ones you see like on the jetties and etc. They fight a lot stronger. So I don't know what it is about this marsh water. They got these chokers like juiced up, man. They juiced up. Put it right in front of it. Bite it. Bite it. Bite it. We got it. Oh, we got it. Oh my God, we got it, baby. I don't know what it is, but we got it. I can't be the fire. Oh no. What is it? What is it? Bro, oh, that's a nice size croaker. Oh my God. So that is a big croaker, baby. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I know, I know. All right, update y'all. So we're still out here, man. It's about 9.30. Mark keeps telling me like, you know, we need to probably bounce around 10 because of the heat. Now, something I noticed that's different from marsh fishing comparison to land-based fishing, bank fishing, there's different kind of hots on the marshes versus the land. On land, the temperature is like 100 in hell. Out here, it doesn't feel that bad. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know me, man. I be having like 100 pounds of gear and with my jetty cart, you know, be dying. You know what I'm saying? When I try to go to the boat cut, dying. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. It's something about being on the water. It's a nice little breeze. Yo, this is nice, man. So it's not as hot on the marsh. I don't know why. It feels good, man. Any other place, you be dying the stagnant heat so yeah um i lost my bugs man r.i.p to my bugs lure it had a good run i lost it to these damn oysters so now i have the simmer swimmer um you know had a trout lost that you know you know why i lost that trout y'all look look i'm over here with the fish on and i'm trying to hit record come on right now come on i know you got to get the shot baby but you got to catch the fish and no point of hitting record if you ain't gonna catch the fish so yeah so we're gonna work on that um as far as gear had one malfunction one of my gopros something that's never happened is like i guess the heat out here for my electronics made my battery expand so i just kind of kind of rip out the battery real quick tag fell off so i had to use a knife to you know pull it out which is unusual and i know mark said that um before he was having issues with his gopro overheating which i didn't understand because it's mine that never did so on land not a problem Something about on the Mars, with your electronics, it's a little bit rougher. So yeah, so far, um, I'm still loving this whole Mars kayak fishing thing, man. I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving it, man. And this kayak is nice, man. This old, old town kayak is nice. It's 30, you know, I'm a big boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm like 220, and I feel like I'm just light as a feather stiff as the board on this kayak. So I'm feeling it, man. Um, so yeah, let's get back to fishing. I just want to give y'all an update about what's going on. Your boy still hasn't drowned. I got my PDF. But um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. This is nice, man. This is this is this is getting me spoiled, man. I don't think I'm never land based fishing again. I need everybody to um if you can check out the description, sign up for my Patreon. I started my Patreon so I can start a kayak fund, y'all. I need this life, y'all. I can't go back to land based fishing, y'all. Please join my Patreon. Help me. Help me get one of these. I'm going to bring you dope content. Can y'all imagine me out here making episodes? Bro, come on now. Let's go. Lego. Oh, 
Put that hooked out. Oh, we are. We are, y'all. Oh, we are. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. I love flounder. Flounder. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, we got it. We got it. Boy, these march. These march fish are <laughs> crazy. Anyway. Got a nice little flounder, y'all. There we go. Just kind of taking my time, working along the bottom. Got it in. So let's get it back back in before I mess up the jaw any more than I already have. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, man. We made a subscriber out here in the middle of the march. Shout out to Chris. Showing it how I'm done. <laughs> Jeez. Look at that, y'all. Nice flounder. Great red. All right, Chris, I see you, man. I see you. It's all good, bro. Just give me like, just give me like two more trips. I'm gonna come out here just like that, bro. <laughs> two more trips. Two more right. trips. I'm gonna be an expert. <laughs> I'm gonna show Chris how to do it, man. Nobody worry about them small fish he got, man. He didn't. Even, he don't even got a speckle trout. That wasn't even a slam. So. All right, I ain't even got a slam. <laughs> <laughs>